Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right. We won it last year for 2023 and we won it again for 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why. Today I'm showing you this 2009 Mitsubishi Galant. These are hard to find, but we finally got one in. It's got 70... 70,000 kilometers on it, which is about 43,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Mitsubishi Galant is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May timeframe. So we're gonna take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that till next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Now this one doesn't have the rain guards to uh, show you. However, you always want to get yourself a good windshield visor, okay? You got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, you can buy an aftermarket uh, dash cover for the Gallant, or you can simply buy like maybe a, a larger towel, a lighter color towel, and put that on the dash and try to keep it as cool as possible, okay? It's going to definitely help in the summertime uh, to get the car as cool as possible uh, a lot quicker. All right, so key fob on your person. You're just going to crank it over as if the key was already in there, and it turns over. All right, so I'm just going to leave that. Yeah, let's leave that up there. And let's turn this radio off. Power. All right. Let's sneak this in. Let's get this air conditioner cranking a little bit. Boy, it's right there. It's already coming out. 70,231 70, on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. Uh, the one on the left, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then um, the circular one is your emergency brake. This one is a hand brake, so when you disengage it goes away, engage it comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. That thing pops up on a dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, especially if it's red. Anything red is bad, please pull over, find out what it is, okay? Off to the left here, you have your uh, radio. This one does have a rear camera. You have your air conditioning controls. Uh, just a little compartment here for some storage. Uh, ashtray or not even an ashtray just a tray and your power outlet your shifter the handbrake as I told you about Cup holders and a little center console slash armrest That's going to give you a tray up front or up top and a little compartment for more storage Continuing to the left you have your glove box Then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out and then Yeah, let's make sure this is all the way back and this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty good. I, I could drive as is or slide it up a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. All right, uh, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see the pass the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All right. I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars, okay? Uh, and some dealers will try to discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. It was graded four from the auction with a B&B &B on the exterior interior, and I swear I don't know why this doesn't focus. Come on. Anyway. And the highest you can go are A's, okay? So very, very clean car, very good grade for this. That's gonna be up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. And I tell you, this AC's cranking. It really feels good. All right, let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. Uh, so this one right here, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And there are a couple of ways uh, to get that, so you can ask me while you're here, or my information guy, okay? Um, Without opening the door, let me just 
So this one right there, uh, that is uh, to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to do it. Okay? And then, I'm going to open the door, so. All the way back here, you have your hood release. Okay? And then on the floor here, uh, you have your trunk release. And please don't forget, you, got, you, have, you have your gas cover release right here. All right? And then on the door panel, you have your mirror, window, and door lock controls. This controls all the door locks all right here. All right? And then it looks like it does have cruise control that you're probably never going to use. And I think that's about it. And just a little compartment here for uh, coins or whatnot. All right, so let's uh, turn this off. Let's head to, the, oh, and it does have an aftermarket uh, dash cam right there. All right, let's go to the back seat. Yeah, these are really done up nicely. Uh, they're a little harder to find uh, from the auctions. So whenever we see one that's in good shape, we always uh, try to jump on it. But very, very clean car. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, about an inch away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And just a little bit of storage on each door panel. This one does have a center armrest that comes down. That's going to uh, give you two cup holders. It looks like it has a, a drive recorder. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, a drive recorder. Okay. Let's go to the back here. Yeah, because this is the regular uh, backup camera. All right, there you have it. Huge trunk. It looks like it's a. Uh, looks like you can, uh, put those seats down if you need to. Let me see. Been a while since I had one, so. Yeah, I'll have to find out um, how those seats go down, but it looks like it does. All right, let's go to the front here. We'll show you the engine compartment. I'm gonna wrap this video up. All right, and there you have it. Uh, two liter engine, nice and clean. All right, there you go. 2009 Mitsubishi Galant. Uh, 70,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 43,000 miles. Military price goes down at 5,800. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 5,700. I'm sorry, 5,600. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5,600 will include a two year JCI. The one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. That's whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny Z's Cars to show what we have, what our program is all about, and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the uh, Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa War for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.